Hello my fishes, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my mermaid tail collection. This includes all the tails that I've made for myself that are printed as well as two tails that were gifted to me. So what we're gonna do, we are going to start at one end. I have kind of tried to put these in chronological order and um, otherwise let's just dive on in. So this tail was the very first mermaid tail that I made that was printed. I made this way back when I was still working in the animation industry and I wanted something really, really different. Um, obviously, <laughs> these are not my colors, even a little bit my colors, um, but I wanted to do something really, really different to really see kind of what the potential for this was gonna be since I had never made a printed fabric mermaid tail before up until here, it was all um, painted. Painted tails or straight spandex, like sequiny, shiny spandex tails. So there's that. This was made for the Phoenice Aquarius. This tail never got a name. I I got nothing. I we there were suggestions in the post that I never took and I haven't been swimming in it because I no longer use the Aquarius to swim. So this tail is a little bit on the side of retired. <laughs> okay, so the next tail that I made for myself, I made in a massive hurry because as soon as I had tried out the other one and I was like, "Oh no, this is the best." Um, I was like, well, now I have to make it for the Luna because the Luna had just arrived um, around that time I had gotten in. I was like, okay, we're making a tail skin for it. And I don't know if I was the first person to make a tail skin um, for this monofin because I don't know that for a fact. I don't want to be all like, ooh, I was the first person to do it. But I hadn't seen anybody else do it. And there was a video actually circulating at the time that was saying that, oh, we'll never be able to use this monofin for mermaid tails because it's too flexible and that's just not the case as you can see. <laughs> but this was the tail that we created. This is Flounder. Um, Eric actually named this named this tail. It needed a name, so he named it. Um, but yeah, you can see that there was, uh, it was a little bit, it was a little bit rushed. As you can see, like my, my sides, like my colors don't line up. <laughs> I don't have that problem anymore, but I was in such a rush to get this done. And as soon as I got in the water with this, well, it was game, it was game over. I was just sold. I was never gonna love a, a mermaid monofin and tail combo oh, again the same way. So this was kind of my first real attempt at making uh, a printed tail in my colors. So there's Flounder. Okay, next up, who I almost feel like I should leave this tail for last. This is my favorite tail of all time, if you guys, wanted to know when you ask. This is my favorite tail that I have ever made, probably will ever make. I don't know that there will ever be another tail that I love as much as this one. Um, but this is this is Chester. Chester has a twin and that is Helen and she's up on the wall behind you. Um, but yes, this is my baby and this tail has been worn more than any other tail that I have. Has been absolutely <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> it's been loved let's just let's just say that and um got a dark dark back light front again with the yellow this was the closest i've ever gotten to perfection um in fact i would just say that this is perfect this is my favorite tail and my newest tail which you'll see uh as we as we make our way down is pretty pretty darn close, but there's still elements of this tail that for some reason, I'm just, I'm struggling to replicate. <laughs> so that's okay. We'll be just, we're figuring that out as we go here. Um, but yeah, this kind of cemented the look that I was going for with the kind of yellow and green and blue. This was what I really wanted. This was also the first tail to really have the yellow as bright as you see it here. So my baby. Next we have the splash tail, which was the first tail that I ever made for the Linden monofin. And this, um, I believe I just, I have just been calling it the splash tail slash Madison tail. It's just, that's, she doesn't really have a name other than that, but, but there you go. Um, this is the tail. She's beautiful. She's bright. She's got a lot of contrast. Um, we've got a little bit darker, darker backside. Um, and then the front. This tail was an interesting experience to swim in. The Linden Monofin inside a tail skin is, um, for somebody who doesn't have the same kind of foot problems that I have, is probably easier. For me, this, I swim so slow. In this tail, I swim like ridiculously slow. slow. I just like, slower than I do in the Siren tail, that's for sure. <laughs> but still beautiful. This is also the first real tail that I made for, for myself with this, uh, 
I kind of refer to my scale shapes um, and tails instead of generations. We're kind of up to like the sixth generation now. Um, this was generation three. And next we have the siren tail, my baby. <laughs> which is kind of a tale unto itself. I definitely treated this one differently than I did with the other ones. The scales, um, this tail is the only tail that I have that actually has scales with their own color palette in addition to the textures that are over top of everything. So, which is quite wild, but this tail is made for the Mer Taylor Fantasy One Monofin. Um, I never gave this, I just call it the Siren Tail. So that's kind of its name, the Siren Tail, <laughs> I guess. And um, I made it obviously based off of the TV show uh, Siren. If you guys want to see more on this, I do have a playlist over on my channel that can will show you all of this tail and a bunch of the silicone. <gasps> I didn't bring out the silicone tail. How are you guys going to see that? I can't pull that thing out from under the couch. But you know what? It doesn't really count because I don't actually wear it. So yes, it is in my collection, but it's not. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link in the cards for you guys. You go use some over there if you wanna see the big the big boss um, siren silicone mermaid tail because that's just not coming out. That thing is 60 pounds. It's staying under the couch for now. That's where, <laughs> that's where it is. But that's this tail and I love this tail quite a bit. All right, the next two tails that I have to show you guys are actually also twins. Um, with a little bit, they're not twins the same way that Chester and Helen are twins. These two do actually have a subtle difference, which I'll show you guys. So the first tail is uh, Rosella or Rosie. You can see how much brighter um, and lighter she is at the, at the end here. <laughs> that was not intentional. And I also misjudged how short I wanted the fringe to be. So Rosie was a little bit of a disappointment. I feel kind of bad for saying that. I have I have enjoyed this tail and I have been swimming in it a couple of times. You've seen a couple of videos of me in this tail, but it wasn't what I wanted. And I was making this as the tail that I was gonna wear to the California Mermaid Convention in 2019. And so that just kind of happened. And I was like, okay, well, we'll just, you know, nothing happened here. And then I created Milo as the kind of answer, <laughs> the kind of solution to my light woes here. So you can see there's a lot more contrast on uh, Milo than there was on Rosie, but they are still otherwise identical tails with the exception of the, the bottom chunk of it. So the top, the top everywhere else is the same except for this area. So that's why they're kind of, and a little bit of the spots on the, on the bottom there. But this is another fun tail. Um, it still isn't Chester for me. <laughs> and um, so while I do really love this tail, there is just something about it that isn't quite right yet you know so there it is that's kind of that's kind of where we're at with that one okay next up <laughs> beaming next up is a tail i got from a dear friend of mine kylie from moonsong magic um you guys have seen her around on my channel before i've talked about her this is the, okay this was the very first tail i ever got that wasn't made by me. So this is the first tail in my collection that was not made by me and I had no idea what to expect. And if you haven't seen the unboxing video of that, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch it because my freak out was pretty real. I've also got some swimming footage of me in this tail and it is beautiful. It is the biggest fluke. It is bigger than my silicone uh, fluke as well. So I can show you guys when I say it's big, like she big. <laughs> so I did actually do like a little comparison between the two of them. It's still the biggest fluke in my apartment and has two pretty epic uh, side fins. Very cool. And it's the same front and the same back and I love this tail. I have yet to actually name this tail as well. Boy, I'm kind of failing. There's actually another tail that I haven't made. This is just terrible. I should just, I should be fired. I <laughs> give you back my marating license, we're done but I do love this tail. Moonsong Magic also makes and sells mermaid tails. If you would like to check her out, I will make sure to link her down below. She puts together, ah, oh, what I love about her tails is the level of contrast and how much they pop in the water. Like they really do just like punch you in the face in a good way <laughs> underwater. I absolutely love them. I love the details that she puts in. She is a one woman show much like myself and she puts so much heart and love and effort into her work. I highly recommend her. I just, I can't say enough good things. So I'm so happy to have this in my collection. You have no idea. Okay, so the next tail on my list, pardon the weird angle and the lighting. There's some stuff down here that I have to like straddle in order to show you guys. Um, this is Cetus. Cetus was made by the incredibly talented Creature Fins. 
can you even believe like i can't even really comprehend that i actually have one of her tails it kind of breaks my brain because massive fan right here and when this happened like if you see the unboxing that's all genuine like you i must have cried like so so much i had it on the floor and i just laid on it for like half an hour i'm messaging i'm messaging creature fence and i'm like so this is i'm just i'm just gonna lay on this tail like from now until I die, because it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I have a whole series of videos if you guys want to see this tail up close and personal, as well as the contraption that you see up here. Um, I'll get behind the camera quick just to show you guys. Cetus has the Finis shooter inside, is a beautiful, big fluke, she huge, a beautiful blended waistband. I absolutely love this tail so much. I feel like the colors are so spot on and some of the details that are a little bit um, harder to see from a distance are like all of the little flecks and all of the little spots that Creature Fins just did. That Like she just knew, she's like, oh, I've seen, I've looked at your tail, like we've got to get this in there. And I had no idea, look how freaking gorgeous. Look how freaking gorgeous. Look at this magnificent beast. Oh, so good. So yeah, if you want any details on how um, Eric did this for me, I have a video and a whole playlist with just this tail and the entire adventure that went into getting this tail. All right, so the next tail that I have to show you guys is actually one from the Patreon pod. This was the biggest, craziest surprise I've ever had. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't, I did not expect this. Um, many, like I think I've mentioned it a couple of times, you guys might know that I had been planning on purchasing a Fin Fun tail. I already had the monofin which finfun had very kindly sent to me to review years ago and i was planning on getting a tail skin myself this year for it and the patreon pod actually surprised me and created for me this koi uh courtney mermaid inspired koi mermaid tail so i'm going to show you guys really quick this is what it looks like i think it's gorgeous i'm i'm pretty jazzed to have this tail this is beautiful this was designed by the group and widget the mermaid kind of brought it to life and it's really it's really beautiful and I never thought that I would be somebody who'd be like my colors in like a koi fish pattern but like I'm vibing it like it's pretty it's pretty cool and I just I love the number of fins like I've got there's so many fins look at all the extra fins man all the extra little finnies so absolutely gorgeous okay you guys now last but not least all right I gotta show you guys here it is are you ready here is my latest mermaid tail creation. So this is what I would probably call like generation five or generation six. Anyways, um, but they have the new scale shape that I have modified to fit my aesthetic because my scales are typically more of like a, like a diamond or like a spade shape. So something a little bit different. There are gonna be a lot of questions about this fluke, how on earth I got it this size, what is actually in here. The only thing that I'm gonna tell you right now is that uh, the Luna is what's in here, and the Luna does not actually take up all of the space of what's in here. That being said, the method that I'm using, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I have some experience adding extra stuff to the ends of my tails. I am trying here something that I'm hoping will be workable. I have yet to be swimming in this, which is why it's not gonna be available in my shop as an option yet until I am sure that it's going to hold up and it's going to work well. So for now, you're gonna to have to just live with that knowledge um, and not harass me about what kind of situation this is um, because I, as soon as I, I know if it works, you guys will be the first to know exactly what it is and exactly how to make one for yourself. So just, you gotta, you gotta hang tight and send me the good vibes that this actually works though, okay? That's your mission, all right? That's what you get. Um, but yeah, so it's a huge, it's a huge, it's a big, it's a very big fluke. <laughs> and um, it does have a zipper, so the zipper goes from here uh, to here, so I can pop everything in and out. I have like my two little finnies on the front. I've got uh, two, they were kind of meant to be more like peck fins, but they've kind of turned into more like hip fins because I put them a little bit further out, which is okay. Um, I also have this massive, massive dorsal fin, which you guys noticed. And uh, the thing is, is it's like next to me, it's not really that big. I just happen to be quite a large human being. So it, you know, um, on the tail, maybe it looks quite, uh, big by itself but next to me it doesn't look too 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 nuts 
I am really excited for this tail. I, 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 I just want to hit the pool. It's also using brand new fabric, which I sourced. I, I think I like it better, but I'm not going to make a judgment until I actually take this thing to the pool and I actually swim in it. And I actually see what the status is. I have done uh, two stress tests involving sandpaper <laughs> and, uh, and other items around the house. I will get back to you with that. All right, so awkward. I actually just filmed the outro and I forgot to tell you guys the name of this majestic beast. This is Stitch, okay? So, um, yes, this is Stitch. <laughs> Stitch is called Stitch because my sewing machine mm, and the thread mm, and a few, a few, a few minor things came to pass with this tail. So this tail has been named Stitch and, um, does that make me Lilo? I don't know, but there you go. Back to the rest of the video. If you do have questions about this tail, you know, feel free to leave them below. I will, I won't answer questions about the fluke just because I don't want you guys to try anything until I know that it works for sure and then I can give you the right information, right? So I don't want you to like, oh, this is a great idea, Courtney, and then find out that it didn't work out. So that's why I'm being like secretive, but you guys know I make eBooks and I give away all my information on how to do this in those eBooks and on my channel. So if you guys wanna learn how to do any of what I've shown you today within all of these different tales, that I, the ones that I've made myself at least, um, check out my website, uh, shopvancouvermermaid.com. I have an eBook that'll show you how to make the printed fabric mermaid tail. I have a secondary eBook that's available that will show you how to make the fins, the extra fins. And then I have, I have at least, I think, four more eBooks coming this year, one of which is gonna be a Photoshop, basic beginner Photoshop intensive, in regards to mermaid tails, because I know there's a lot of questions on how to use Photoshop, and I definitely want to get you guys all the way hooked up. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well, so you never miss an upload. I forgot to mention, if you are interested in getting one of these tails, one of my mermaid tails from me, because yes, I do take orders. All of the information is over on VancouverMermaid.com and the application form and the process and all of the questions that you have will likely be answered over there. So be sure to check that out. And otherwise, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, I really enjoyed it and I look forward to catching you all again in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye.